Brewer spruce is a tree that grew in western North America as part of the Arcto tertiary forests that once dominated the area. Fossil records from the Pliocene and Miocene occur as far east as Nevada and Idaho, north to central Oregon, and south to central California. This paleoendemic now grows only in the Klamath Mountains. It is locally common, but rare in a worldly sense, surviving fastidiously in isolated and often extensive groves in specific habitats. The most contiguous forests grow in the Siskiyou and Marble Mountains. Further east in the range, the tree is predictable at sites offering favorable slope aspect and elevation. Brewer spruce prefers the cool, wet winters and warm, dry summers of the Klamath Mountains, never growing in soils saturated during the growing season. Overlap with other spruces occurs only in the w Russian wilderness, where Brewer spruce grows near but rarely next to Engelmann spruce. Nowhere is it found with Sitka spruce, a coastal tree in northwest California. Brewer spruce is also unlike the other spruces in cone morphology. Yes, the cone scales are soft, thin, and flexible, but unlike Engelmann and Sitka spruce, the scales of Brewer spruce are smooth at the tip. Hybridization with Engelmann spruce has been documented neither in nature nor in the lab, supporting its distant relationship to these spruces. Brewer spruce is matchless in the Klamath Mountains. My wife willingly adopted a handy cultural reference point when describing this tree's pendulous branches. Dreadlocks. Though other analogies are probably more appropriate, we are in Northern California. Their beautiful drooping form complements the surroundings, dangling from the cliffs they inhabit like tinsel on a Christmas tree. Brewer spruce can form pure stands under the right conditions, but this is rare because it does not compete well with other conifers, hence favoring the poorer sites in the mountains. More commonly, it grows individually or in groves with other conifers. Pure stands of Brewer spruce are primordial. In a stroll into a pure grove, parting the weeping branches, is as I envisioned a trip through the closet into Narnia when I was read to by my dad as a youngster. <laughs>